Portraits of My Sacred Band as a family. And I had no idea what the bass was, but I was like, that's a cool instrument. I want to play that. And so that's how I started playing the bass, you know? Falls into everything. Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah it starts a line. Mm -hmm. So when, when it comes, so, okay, so you guys have your instruments, you do this thing, it what goes viral, it's like the dream of, of so many kids these days who are posting stuff, but what was it, what, why did you make the leap to say, you know what, we're going to go professional, there's people posting stuff all the time, Right. but what was it between the three of you that made you think, you know, we want to be in the music business, really give, yeah. give us a run, yeah. Right. I think it came at a point when we were making our own music that it just felt right. Like I, we couldn't imagine not doing this. So we're just like, let's give it our everything, and that's what we did. Yeah. That's kind of the perfect thing. You couldn't imagine not doing it. Yeah. That's, that's everything. I mean, right. that's the. That's what you want. That has that's, to be the answer. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, it kind of had because if you had something else you could think about doing, right, you would choose to put yourself through this. Like that's just it's gotta yes. be you, it's gotta work. be what you gotta yeah. do. I think yeah. that's right. So, now have you have you been to New York City before? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. a couple of times. Okay, uh, we should well welcome to New York again. Yeah, and we should you. say we, we mentioned this the Cinco de Mayo. Oh my God! Cinco de Mayo. It is Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thank you. Funny enough, we so, know. Yeah, it's, it's well, that's what we wanted to say. Do you guys care? Oh, I'm actually very curious to ask you guys what what do you celebrate in I have no idea, but it's all about the tequila. Oh, nice. okay, that's, okay. That, that makes it's sense. the excuse to celebrate the drinking tequila. It's like, pretty, yeah, much, yeah, pretty yeah. much what it is. I was very but, curious about the holiday because yeah. I was like, we don't celebrate it. So right. What what is celebrated? <laughs> well, we we love it. Let's get back to tequila. It's an excuse. Well, there's actually in the lobby they set up a churro stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, so, um, how, how do you guys talk about possibilities for argument? How does does it happen when you guys collaborate on writing music? Who starts it? Who, does it start with a rhythm? Does it start with a lyric that one of you comes up with, or right. all of the above? It usually starts with Pow on the piano. Yeah. Um, she has a. Uh, Whoa, she has a lot of things. Sometimes she has like a list of melodies that she puts phrases into, or sometimes she has just like a lot of phrases and she's just like, I'm gonna pick this one and just see what comes out. Um, so she does a basic chord progression and starts making melodies and lyrics and that's, that's where we come in. She shows us the idea and we're just like, that's so cool, but what if we do blah, 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 blah? and we just uh -huh. like, woohoo, go ahead and the, yeah. put the flow. Uh, but, but honestly, it's I feel like that's sugarcoating it. Because I feel like the only space where we fight as sisters oh, and as right. people is when we're writing. <laughs> yeah. it, it gets, I wouldn't say violent, but, but it, it gets like, it like there's a lot of tension. He did. There is. It, yeah. Yeah. But it fell pretty quickly into like, you got a system. Yeah, yeah we do. No, and we make it work. Again, communication. And at the end of the day, when we're writing, we're really conscious that it's all down to opinions. There's no like right or wrong. So it's just kind of figuring out what we're going to do. Yeah. But we already know like our tells. We know if Pao is like breathing very fast and she's just like, are we just like, okay, can we stop? Can we stop? <laughs> Let's stop for my session and we come back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, is, there, um, is there a through line to the things that you, that you write about? I know a, a lot of artists your age and, and even older, up to 25, 30 years old, are writing about anxiety loneliness, um, obviously, relationships. Um, how, how is it for you to, to write about things like that? And do you, are, are you anxious? Um, <laughs> well, I feel like definitely in this day and age, it's really normal to be anxious. And especially, yeah. I feel like after the pandemic, I feel like we're all kind of understanding all these emotions that could be happening so, so and important. that it can happen to literally anyone. And I feel like we, the three of us, are really conscious about mental health because in the place that we're working in and like the music industry in general, like it's it's a really tough environment to be in. So we, I feel like writing these songs and expressing our feelings through this medium is like therapy. Like it's, it's really healing in some way. And to be able to offer kind of like that space where you felt healed to other people, to yeah. feel that same kind of like empathy and like understanding it's it's amazing that we can do that and now that we're playing live 
to see people relate to it like in person, yeah. it, it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. So it's nice. this this is the most extensive you've gone on the tour. Yeah. yeah. And we know you were supposed to go a few months ago. We were supposed to have you in here. That got pushed back. Yeah. How is it to finally be, you know, let out, let out of the cage and, and go? <laughs> it's absolutely uh, amazing. What? We feel so free. Yes, because we, we've been yearning for this for two years. We already had the whole tour plan and we were scheduled it like three uh, times. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we're super grateful to be able to do it and to, that all the people are still coming to the show even though it's been rescheduled mm -hmm. three times. I've yeah. like, been like super frustrated, like, ah, what if I can't make it? But everyone is enjoying the shows, we are enjoying the shows, and we are visiting places we've never been to before. So that is very new for us as well. Kind of to the point Pal was making that what are you what are you seeing? What are you learning about these songs? Right. Watching people respond to them. Is yeah. anything surprising you about you know, oh I thought this was gonna be the one they were gonna go this way, but here's this other thing and they're really responding to a thing over here. You've lived with these right. for so long now. Yeah, yeah. What is it once you're seeing what you get back playing? Well, I feel like the most surprising thing that we've learned live is that we have a couple of songs in Spanish. Yep. And uh, obviously in the crowds that we're playing to right now don't necessarily speak Spanish. So to be like to see all these people trying to sing in Spanish yeah. as best yeah. as they can, it's just such a heartwarming feeling and you feel like really accepted. And those songs are usually really fun to play because you see people just trying their Try best to, to sing along. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we won't be doing that. <laughs> I just want to clue you in. Uh, we are, we're going to take a fast break here, and uh, everybody's going to get their, their guitars and their basses and their drums on. Woohoo! And uh, when we come back, come back, you guys are going to play, and then uh, we'll see. We'll talk some more when, you know, but you'll play as long as you want, and then we'll talk some more. Yeah, we haven't even talked about the fact that your mom is with you on tour. <laughs> that is yeah, we, we got to discuss. <laughs> coming up on Mother's Day? Or? Coming up oh, on Mother's yeah. Day. Yeah, discuss. I don't know. Is that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Mother's Day on the road. Love that. Uh, all right, we've got the warning here in studio with us. Stand by. Fast break. On the other side, a little live music. Be right back. <laughs> 